Okay, I went- I'm going the long way, I'm sorry. Oh, I need to- oh, what am I thinking? <sighs> okay, back under the tree. Alright, now let's clean the- as, as the instructions say, we're gonna clean the beans in the well. Something happening? Is it doing something? I guess we're cleaning the beans. All I can hear is that annoying frog in the background it keeps croaking at us every second. You lower the pot into the stone well. When you pull it back out, you find a cauldron right, full of water. We scored water. Wait, where's the beans? Ah, oh, shit. Jake, Your look, beans wash away as well. Reach for the sky. Reach for the sky, I say to uh -oh. you. I am warming you. Reach warming you me? Have your He's own warming me? Your hands. Do not try my patience. Do not try my patience for a longer time. All right, don't reach you for the sky. You gave me a chance to reach for the Very sky. Good. You reach for the sky. Guzman grins at you cockily. So, we meet again. Turn around. Oof. Take the map out of his pants and toss it to me. You feel Josie pull the map from your belt. Hey, time cop. And the walkie-talkie. Oh, I liked it. The weight of the walkie-talkie is lifted from your hip. Every hero becomes a bore. Ralph Waldo Emerson. Turn around again slowly. Yeah, well up yours too, buddy. <laughs> David Mamet. <laughs> Stop suppressing a laugh. You are in big or hot to trouble the bottled water. I am going to get the authorities. Mr. Kiskolon, he's going to be very upset. Very upset. Fine. You go tell Mr. Kiskolon that we are very upset with him. We are very angry at him. So you go get him right now and bring him here right away. And bring the authorities with you. Okay. Don't go away. I'll be back as soon as I can. Guzman walks backwards towards the entrance, trying to keep you name as he does. He stands, or he trips, stands up, dusts himself off. It's okay. I didn't hurt myself. Well, thank God for that. Finally, he squeezes under the tree and is gone. You and Josie look at each other, but you're not sure what to say, so you both shrug. Okay, back to business. <laughs> Let me get some beans. Uh, beans. Beans, 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 beans. Where are you? Here's some beans. Uh, oops, I didn't want to take it. I want to take it, or I taste it, I want to take it. Alright, let's, uh, let's put the beans in the water. Every last bean is scooped into the cauldron. Your beans now look amazingly clean. Yay! Where are my clean beans? I guess they're in here. Cauldron. Look at. It is unmistakably ironic combination of ancient and modern technologies. You've attached a coaxial, a coaxial cable to an iron, iron cauldron. You are in the pot as well. Uh, let's see. Empty. You hold the beans back with one hand as you pour water out of the pot. Okay, all right, we got some clean beans now. You empty the cauldron. Oh, okay. I guess I was supposed to do that. So let's go make some chocolate. Oh yeah. This is how Hershey does it, right? This is how Hershey makes all their chocolate, right? For the sacrificial altar. Let's put those on the altar. You try putting the beans on the altar, but that doesn't seem to accomplish anything. Let's, um... Oh, we need to get them out of their husk. Let's nutcrack them. Using the nutcracker does no good. What am I supposed to do? Hang on, look at the beans. You clean those beans and scrub behind those nibs. You ought to be proud. What am I supposed to do? First of all... Um, I'm gonna put the cauldron back on the tripod. Um, or not. Go. Okay, good. And, um, and then we can... I want to... What am I supposed to do? Clean beans. Clean beans on the altar, please. No. I want to not crack the clean beans. Can we do that? Can we use the beans on the nutcracker? No. But then what the fuck am I supposed to do? Save. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's think here. What are we supposed to do? What were those instructions? I don't want to read them again. I have clean beans. I thought I was supposed to um, sort them or something. Um, let's see. Think, 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 think. Alright, well maybe, um, maybe I can, maybe I'm just doing this out of order. Let's try, uh, let's just try lighting the branches on fire. Where's my matches? I know I have them. Strike a match. 
They look intact, but there's not a whole lot of them. Perhaps you should wait to see if you can put them to good use. Well, I am putting them to good use. Hang on. Uh, matches. Light man. Oh, okay, here we go. Light the branches with the matches. You set a small fire in the fire pod. And now I suppose I have to use the bellows. You take the wooden hide construction. I think it's a bellows for the fire. At least it used to be. Okay, let's use it. I don't know what we're using it for, but... Um, use bellows with fire. The holes in the bellow make it impossible to bellow anything. I think I have medical tape, though, from my... From my from my healing kit or my medicine kit. Why do I call it a healing kit? Uh, wear the gauze. Wear the gauze. You have body hair. You'd rather bleed. What? Okay. Well, let's see. Put the gauze on the bellows. Or don't. Try that one more time. Gauze. Bellows. You pull out the great quantity. You pull out great quantities of bandage tape, sever them on a pointed end with the dispenser, and wrap the tape around the bellows, paying special attention to sealing up all the holes in the old hide. Is that going to be airtight? Spare me. I'm doing okay. Now that's pride in craftsmanship. Okay. Mm, use the bellows. Now that the bellows is passed, you can use it to pump air on the fire, making it burn brighter, higher, and hotter. Good. Can we put the beans on the altar now? No. Why did I do that? <sighs> Look at the beans. Okay, the beans are the beans are clean. Using the nutcracker does no good. I've got a fire burning here, and I have no idea what the hell I'm supposed to do with the beans. Fuck the chocolate making process. <sighs> okay. Um. Maybe, um, maybe you have to roast them. Just holding the pot. Ah, oh, shit, holding the pot? There! Remove. The pot is too, oh, oh great, that's great. Uh, how do I put out the fire? I need to extinguish the fire. I need to roast the beans. Did I mess up? Is there actually a way to mess this up? Let's see, cauldron. I cannot put them in. Poop! Tripod, disassemble, no. Jake, that's hundreds of years old. It's in good shape. You might not be able to put it together again. It's simple. It's, um, it could be Okay, well. alright, that's enough of that. I might actually, I have to restore. Let's, let's restore to this. Okay, good. Alright, let's not do that again. Let's, uh, remove this. Let's put the beans in the cauldron. Let's tie it back here. And then let's set it on fire. I, d I didn't realize there was actually a way to mess up in this game, but I think I did, because I don't think I would have been able to take the pot back after setting it on fire. So let's do this. Okay, you set a small fire. Now I am... Oh, I have to do the bellow thing over again. Take... I think it's a... Okay. And then repair. Is that... Now... Okay. Now let's roast some beans. Now that the bellows is passed, you can use it to pump air into the fire, making it burn brighter, higher, and hotter. The beans begin to exhume an aroma. You and Josie take turns stirring them with a bamboo pole to ensure that they roast evenly. When all the beans appear to be properly colored, no small feet in a room with so little light, you remove them from the fire and let them cool for a while. Okay, good, that worked. So now, put the beans on the altar, maybe? <sighs> I still can't put the beans on the altar! I can't believe that! Ah, oh, God! Beans! Alright, I'll try to crack them. Oh, here we go. Using the nutcracker, you extract chocolate nibs from the roasted beans. Look at With the clean, roasted, cracked cacao bean all broken off and cleaned away, you're left with a pile of nibs, greasy and cocoa fat and slight chocolatey fragrance. Okay. Beans on the altar? <sighs> beans in the cauldron? Beans back in the cauldron, okay. You put your roasted beans in the pot. Okay. Cauldron on the altar? The cauldron is unsteady. Okay. Uh, oh, um, maybe now I have to add the sugar cane. Because remember, we have to add some, we have to add sweet to it. So let's put that in there. Oh, it's way too early. It's way too early. Um, I need to... Alright, fine, I'll read the damn brochure again. Ugh. This is like the 50th time I've read it. Alright, we process. 
The nibs are ground between enormous steel rollers several times. Oh god. I don't have a steel roller. There's none in here. Oh, I remember what I have to do here. Of course. Okay. I, I guess this could count as one of the more obscure game, more puzzles, more obscure puzzles in the game. But if you think about it, and if you play this by yourself without, you know, hearing me prattle about it, uh, it's not too bad. We're gonna take the beans, empty it, and put them on the marble slab, and we're gonna crush them that way. So take. Boom. You pull the stones out of the eye sockets. As you take the stones, a soft click issues from the wall and the weights and the counterweights shift again. The entire tumble rumbles around you as the image of quite a chocoholic closes. Oh, I need it back. Excuse me. Need my chocolate back. Alright, so now they were ground, hopefully. Yeah, ground nibs. So take. You scrape the paste out of the slab and put it in the pot, trying, to s trying hard to lose as little as possible. Should I even try? Can we can we put it on the altar now? <sighs> You'll adulterate the paste with bits of altar. Okay, back into the pot you go. Go, back into the pot. Now let's add the sugar. You put the sugar cane into the cauldron. I'm, I'm afraid. I'm afraid to try to put it on the altar again. Do I have to? What do I have to do? Maybe I have to... Oh, it's not empty. Empty? I know we have to put it on the altar at some time. Am I just... Am I wrong? Am I just obsessed with the altar? Alright, back into the cauldron. Um, let me... Let me read the instructions. Who knew chocolate making was so complicated? Read. And I passed it. So I gotta read it again, because I'm dense. Okay. The chocolate is then sweetened. I did that. And conched. A mellowing process in which the chocolate is constantly stirred while being heated. Okay, good. So we need to put it back. We need to put it back on the cauldron. Or on the fire pit. Uh, back on the fire pit. Put cauldron. Okay, there we go. Okay, hey, good. So now that? we're making chocolate. God, that's or incredible. Here, we have to conk them. A mere bag of shells. You keep stirring, and I'll use the bellows to cool the surface of the chocolate. Yes, sir, Mrs. Ghirardelli, sir. After a quarter of an hour of, of conking, when the aroma of sweet melted chocolate could not be any more heady, you remove the pot from the fire. Now we have chocolate goo. I'm not even going to try to put it on the altar. I don't know why I was obsessed with the altar. I guess I'm just thinking of a different game. So let's look at it. Is it done? Look at it. It is unmistakably... I oh, that's just the description of the pot. Uh, empty. Please only pour the chocolate into appropriate containers. I have a medical kit. Let's pour it into the medical kit box. Good. You pour the liquid chocolate into the small box. Then, working with the bellows, you blow cool air on the liquid chocolate, thus causing the chocolate to set or harden. Ooh, we got a chocolate bar. If you guessed medical, medical kit, go to the head of the class. Well, it isn't anymore. Now it's a mold for my chocolate. Uh, empty. You gently remove a finished chocolate bar from the molding. I has a chocolate! I am proud of myself. Can we eat it? We can look at it. The bar of chocolate may be coarsely manufactured, but it's also the mellowest, smoothest, most delectable chocolate you've ever tasted. You're going to try making it last a long time by giving it only very tiny nibbles. Well, it must be pretty big. I mean, we molded it in a medical kit, for crying out loud. Let's see. I guess we can leave now. I've got a, I've got a chocolate bar. What else could one want? Um, let's go back out here. Uh-oh. I'm not controlling it. Oh, here we go. Oh, dear.